And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for November 29th. Tonight in the wide world of tropics sees to absolutely nobody's surprise no active tropical cyclones on the 333rd day of the year, meaning that the number of storms so far this year remains at 88, which is 4 away from the yearly average of 92 storms per year with just over 1 month of the year to go. Jumping into the Atlantic on day 181 of hurricane season, once again the no storms active graphic is up and running which means that there is no activity expected here within the next 5 days. Now it remains to be said that only one day of hurricane season is left in this part of the world with the current statistics of the Atlantic remaining at 21 named storms, 7 hurricanes and 4 major hurricanes. Over in the Eastern Pacific on day 197 of hurricane season, it still remains quiet here as once again no storms are active in this part of the world. Also, with one day to go of hurricane season uh, remaining, uh, this basin still stands at 19 named storms, 9 hurricanes and 2 major hurricanes. Over on the other side of the Pacific, in the western half, 93W continues to develop and currently has a tropical cyclone formation alert issued on this system. However, we are giving this system a 70% chance of formation, which still is a pretty high chance in 5 days. 94W continues tracking westwards and will soon enter the Bay of Bengal. Uh, currently, we've given this system a 20% chance of formation whilst it remains in the West Pacific Basin. This basin, so far, remains at 19 named storms, 9 typhoons, and 4 major typhoons. Now, as I mentioned previously, 94W is attempting to em enter excuse me, the Bay of Bengal. So far, we're keeping this system at a 20% chance of formation, but this could change in the coming days as it enters the Bay of Bengal. Uh, the North Indian Ocean remains at 5 named storms, 3 hurricane, uh, cyclones even, and 1 major cyclone. Nothing remains active in the Southwest Indian Ocean as of now and no named storms, cyclones or major hurricanes have formed so far this 2021 to 2022 cyclone season. Once again, nothing remains active tonight in the Australian region uh, with one named storm having been formed so far this season. Bear in mind this is a season that's just reaching a month old. Uh, with nothing on the horizon as of yet in this part of the world. And the South Pacific still remains empty with no systems active and once again nothing on the horizon as this part of the world still remains with no named storms, no cyclones and no majors in this 2021 to 2022 cyclone season. Jumping into the satellite imagery for the Atlantic, once again there's not much to report here apart from the odd thunderstorm activity in isolated areas. The East Pacific is still pretty quiet yet again with not a lot of any activity, not even a lot of cloud cover going on, but again there's still thunderstorm activity in isolated areas as marked by those yellow flashes on your screen right about now. 93W is slowly organizing and as I mentioned has a tropical cyclone formation alert issued as it heads westward currently with a 70% chance of formation and 94W remains with a 20% chance as it crosses over into the Bay of Bengal. Now as of now I just said it has a 20% chance of formation but this could change once it completes its crossover so we will keep a very close eye on this system. Quiet times have returned to the Australian region as the sun comes up after a brief burst of activity in the form of tropical cyclone Paddy and 91S, with nothing on the horizon in this part of the world. The South Pacific yet again still remains devoid of any tropical activity, but there remains quite a potent extratropical system to the east of New Zealand with quite a lot of thunderstorm activity. 
Jumping into the sea surface temperatures, the West Pacific still remains largely 28 to 29 degrees, the Bay of Bengal registering 28, with the Arabian Sea registering 27 to 28, uh, the tropical Atlantic remaining at 28 degrees and still slowly cooling with the Gulf of Mexico reaching temperatures of the low 20s along the coastline of the United States. Uh, the tropical East Pacific remains with 27 Celsius, the Central Pacific registering 27 to 28. Um, offshore Mexico still remains with 28 degrees Celsius waters. And the Southern Hemisphere is still warming up with the northern coast of Australia reaching temperatures of 29 to 30 degrees Celsius and the Southwest, in Southwest Indian Ocean largely around 28 degrees. Jumping into the sea surface temperature anomalies, the eastern and central Pacific both remain cooler than average, but the west coast of Mexico still remains above average. The La Nina is still in full swing and still is extending over into the west Pacific. Uh, the Atlantic still remains pretty much all above, with the west Pacific also warmer than average, but the La Nina is creeping in on this basin. Uh, the Bay of Bengal also remains above average and the Arabian Sea mostly remains at or above average and the Southwest Indian Ocean still remains mostly above and the South Pacific still remains half above and half below average due to the La Nina. On this day in 2004 was quite the activity. First up is Cyclonic Storm Agni, which was renounced to be one of the closest tropical cyclones to form near the equator. And we also have Tropical Depression Winnie, which proves once again that a system does not have to be strong to cause a loss of life. Also active on this day was Tropical Storm Nan Madal, which had just been named over in the West Pacific, Subtropical Storm Otto, which was strengthening in the Atlantic, and Tropical Depression Bento, which was weakening in the Southwest Indian Ocean. Don't forget that Force 13 week begins soon. We will kick off with the pre-show pre at 21.30 Zulu tomorrow, right here on YouTube. That's half past 9 p.m. UTC, or for you American folk out there, 4.30 p.m. Eastern. This is Force 13 week is going to celebrate Force 13's 10th anniversary of operations with the Saturday being our Force for Good charity livestream. And that brings us to the next names in the naming lists. First up in the Atlantic, we're still waiting on the first name of the auxiliary list being Adria. Up next in the Eastern Pacific is Vivian, followed by Waldo. And up next in the Central Pacific still is Hone. And it's still likely to remain Hone for quite some time. Up next in the West Pacific on list 4 is Nieto, followed by Rai. Up next in the North Indian Ocean is Jawad, followed by Asani. Next up in the Australian region is Ruby, followed by Seth. First up in the Southwest Indian Ocean is Anna, followed by Batserai. And finally, up next in the South Pacific is Cody, followed by Dovi. Xavier will be back with the final Tropical Weather Bulletin of 2021 tomorrow night.